you have the post duration so if you want to increase um, you want to move towards the post duration then adjust to increase for example we will have 10 then you want to move um, okay let's have a review um, what's the post duration get it for your short uh, short duration that's guys 0 0.022 1 ms so your long duration process you have 10 to 2000 ms so we are using pulse along your long pulse duration then your pulse interval is at least two to three times the pulse so 10 times 2 or 10 times 3 or you can have above for you Anna. so we can have 10 times 5 so Okay, at least the man um, two to three times. Then you have the surges per minute. The surges per minute is used if you are performing a tetanic contraction. Okay, and you know already what is tetanic contraction. That we discuss in laboratory. Okay, so it's more of continuous uh, contraction as compared to a muscle twitch. And then. Um, surges per minute, so you will have to adjust, for example, we will adjust that one to the same line. So, kung nine is guys, for example, you will have nine ka tetanic contractions for one minute. Okay? Nine ka tetanic contractions for one minute. Then you will have to move towards the time. I'm sorry. Then increase, decrease. Usually, uh, ES uh, treatment would last for 10, 20 to 30 minutes. Right. So, increase, that's happen. And then, as what you have learned sa, la, uh, sa lecture, well, uh, rectangular pulse forms usually works best for innervated, whereas your exponential or triangular works best for your denervated muscle and you have your intensity okay and then okay okay once if ever we produce this sound that would indicate that there's something wrong it's a problem at all the cable is not being attached to the machine so petition is out Ah, zero. 